Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Currently working our way through the Earth Temple. And we are able to see the boss tour, but we don't have the big key yet, so. We can also open up the third pot. So that's also good, so. Let's go down now. I think I need Medley with me, so I'll have to take her. Let's just do that. Whoa, rolling. Careful. Okay, let's go further down. Into the depths. Okay. Now, I believe this room has a fair bit of stuff to do in it, so... Let's get started. Uh, I guess I could also move a few of these things straight away, but also I want to command Melody first. There are also a few invisible chests that we can get in this room, but it's a lot easier once we get everything else done in the room first. So, step on that switch to make the light appear. Gonna just hop down first. And actually, I think if I stand up here, maybe, might just be... Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh well. Anyway, let's push this mirror into a new position and work out what we need to do next. Okay. What I need to do next is actually what I was trying to do before, so let's try that again. I just pressed the wrong button because they switch the shield button to another button because the ZR is the return button, which is really weird to me, but all right. Okay. And that at link. Hopefully that's going to work. It should. Just need to use the mirror shield to reflect it at the wall. Getting rid of all four pieces. So we can allow this other mirror to get through. And then we can do a few other things. We can also get rid of this statue from here apparently. Which is kind of impressive that I can reach that far. But that's going to be very helpful to have that open. What's back there? Just pots? What's in the pots? I want to find out what's in the pots. I don't know why I want to find out what's in the pots, but I want to find out what's in the pots. Lots of rupees. Wow. Just drop them on me. That's actually very satisfying to have rupee pots like that. Imagine that in Breath of the Wild. You need them all the time anyway, so... There's never a time that you don't need more rupees in Breath of the Wild. Okay. Why did you stop? I don't know. That's so weird. But anyway, we can also move this one into position. This is a cool room. Very slow though, because we push blocks very slowly. These are very cool scorpion mirrors as well. Just need to move this over this way to connect with that one. Which connects with that one, which goes to the other side of the room. So now we can go to the other side of the room and get that done. Okay. That one goes there. Now, I think I'm going to need... Medley again, maybe? Or possibly not, just yet. Let's put that on that statue there. And let's move this last mirror into position. Very slowly into position. Okay. And last one, please. Right there. I think I missed a step. Oh, there's that there. Okay, I do need medley. Okay. Okay, let's figure out where we need to go. Across the room. Because I think I need... 
think I need medley up here. So I can aim it down at Link. Down there. Okay, then, ah! Back onto the platform and get rid of this wall. Why don't I just have the whole wall able to be broken apart in one go? I don't know. Instead of four bits that you have to do separately. I guess to make you work for it. If that makes sense, but still. Anyway, let me just quickly check these pots as well, since the other ones were so rewarding. Yes! Purple rupee, wow! So many rupees. Let's move this last platform into mirror into position. And that should be everything. There we go. Now we can do this last thing. So let's step up to the plate. And let's... Come on, Melody. Okay, Medley, I want you on the other side from me. So that we can work together on this. Uh, not quite. Come on. Can you get up, please? Onto the thing. Thank you. Let's aim you at that sun switch. And let's aim with a mirror shield at that sun switch. There we go. And by activating this gigantic sun, it also activates all the treasure chests, and possibly the walls that we didn't break. Which is pretty cool to just unlock those at once. Without having to do all the extra work that we had to do. Would have had to do. By just reflecting it at the treasure chests and the wall. Enjoy pendant. And on the other side, I think I can also leave Medley here, possibly. I can't remember what the other remaining rooms are, so... Purple Rupee, okay. So that wasn't extremely helpful rewards, but still. I'm always happy to receive. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just... Hop down here, pray letting go, make, make sure we don't crash into a wall and take longer. Also, it's super scary going between those things, since we know that those things came apart. The... Yeah, the wall there just... Yeah. It's terrifying to think that if those... If that switch just stopped randomly, we would be in a lot of trouble. Can I please... Okay, fine. We can also use the leaf to stop the cursed bubbles from doing their own thing. Ow. Ow. Why can't I not counter? Because you're not holding your sword, that's why. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna get out my leaf. So I can hopefully use that when I'm not cursed anymore. Please. Thank you. I'm cursed. I can't Hit it. Please hit it for me. Thank you. It's actually very useful of you. Ah! Break your helmet. Now I can take you out. Nope, you're already dead. Cool. Let's grab your knight's crest. And let's take out this other bubble. There we go. Very nice. So now we can get this big key. We can go to the way the boss of the dungeon lurks. But first we have one other room to go into before we go on. And I'm going to probably double check the map to make sure I have all of the treasure chests everywhere else. Looks good. So, let's go. Just, the mirror shield in this game looks cool, but also the mirror shield in Ocarina of Time looks cool. Okay, this makes sense as to why I didn't think I remembered this room, because this looks a lot like the other place that we were at before. We can also use the light to open up these things, which is probably a bad move considering what's inside of them. Uh, but let's just go into it. <laughs> I'm probably going to regret this. 
I'm probably gonna regret this. Please let me hit you. Okay, good. Good. Great, actually. Come on. Oh, please, 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 please. Got him. That was amazing at how fast I got rid of those enemies. And how little hearts I really lost in that whole thing. I didn't lose any hearts, apparently. Probably because I grabbed some from the spoils orbs. Anyway, let's grab this last treasure chest and then we can go to the boss. Treasure chart. That makes two, I'm pretty sure. From this dungeon. But there we go. Now, I don't know if I can carry Medley up to where I need to go, so I'm just going to throw you away for a second. And go up manually. Now, let's command Medley do you up here, because we're going to have to do that a few times now. In the next room as well. Gonna leave you there. Okay. Let's head on up. Which we will need to leave Medley behind again for. So let's climb up. Just need to go up, please. Okay, there we go, please don't, please don't grab the wall, thank you. Okay, we're back up here, so let's command Melody. So we can get Medley up here. Imagine if it was that fast to get up normally. Also, I can't get any higher, so I have to go on the stairs apparently. That's interesting. But anyway, let's return, let's grab Medley. And Geronimo! It's fine. We've made it. Now, let me see. Got some magic. Got some rupees. Got dizzy. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. And more rupees. Cool. I th also think we can't take Medley into the boss room, so let's just say goodbye here. Okay, we have Jahala to fight. So we need to use the light to make him visible. And then we need to pick him up bigger than the pig and throw him into one of the spike walls. Okay, and now comes the fun part where we get to try and take out as many of these things as we can before they get back together. Into the main body. Okay. We're still good. Oh, he's breathing in. And now he's blowing out fire. Also, there's only two lights now, instead of three spotlights, so... They're probably going to shift around, which will be annoying. But anyway, it's same thing as before. We just need to keep doing it. And throw you into the wall. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. As efficiently as possible. Fire arrows is working out fairly well for me right right now, so that's good. Okay. We're going down to one spotlight, maybe? No. Maybe not yet. Okay. Oh, we are now. Okay, let's pick you up. And throw her into the wall. Let's see if we can use fire arrows to finish this off, maybe. 
Otherwise, just use targeting to target them better. Also, he can just reform into his main body if there's one left, which is probably going to happen right now. Yep, called it. Which is a little unfortunate, but still. As long as it's one, he can return to full power. Oh my goodness, it's over there now. Also, if you miss, it kind of bees annoying and changes where the light is as well. Oh my goodness, the skull's going everywhere. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Ah, spikes. Please, hit you. Thank you. We don't even need to use any fire arrows now. We just need to use a regular arrow. Just need to target the last one, and there we go. Two arrow shots. Very cool. Let's grab our heart container. And let's go into the middle. The prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There is but one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Link, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now Link, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I'll remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. And Link... Um... About Prince Kamali. Please watch over him for me. So there we go. The Earth Temple is complete. The Master Sword's power has not yet fully returned. Perhaps I am mistaken, but I fear the worst for the Sage in the remaining temple. You must hurry, Link. Yes, I must, apparently. <laughs> and now we get to go to the one that I was trying to go to before without actually being ready for it. So let's do that. By going up to Windfall Island to start off.
Oh my goodness, that's in that box, post box, I have to. I have to check it. Let's get off, please, thank you. Let's check that out. Also, this guy might look familiar to us, because he's the guy who we broke his vases. Being poor must be pretty rough. You take one look at me, and that's the first thing you think, isn't it? I ask you, why is that? Sure, the days can get kind of tough, but good things still happen, don't they? Money doesn't make the sunshine, you know. Just recently, my missing daughter, M Myla, was returned to me. I didn't think I could ever feel more joyful. But then she went and started working at that the shop to help out with our tight family finance finances. What a trooper. Could that girl be any more of an angel? Although I do worry about how she always seems to sneak out at night. Is there any shop in this town that's open at night? Hmm. The look in your eye seems to imply that uh, you have so something to say. Well, what is it? Are you suggesting that I should go to work too? Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, my back has truly been hurting me of late. Really, just aching. If only I were 20 years younger. Sure. Sure. Anyway, let's check the post box. Good morning. Let us link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. This parcel has been sent on or cash and delivery. Postage is due is 10 rupees. Will you pay? Yes, I will. Yo, how you been, man? Gotta tell ya. You, you've really helped me out back there at the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I doubt I'll ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, and I figured I just had to write your letter. It sounds like you're doing uh, some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. You can probably tell that I have n had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured th the least I could do would be to send you a letter of encouragement. So, yay, man. Yay. Go, man. Go. Go, go. Never give up. Never lose hope. And while I don't uh, make much, I'm sending you the wages I earned, I've earned lately. Just doing my part. Hope it helps. I'm really sorry I had to send this uh, cost on delivery. COD. Uh, but I guess that's the price of fame. Take care. Thanks again, boss. From Beto. 20 rupee. I paid 10 rupees for a 20 rupee. Cool. <laughs> the logic is flawless. Anyway. Um... I guess I could do a few things here, maybe. Uh, actually, no, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Uh, but I could do one thing that I could have done a long time ago. Although, I feel like waiting first. You stink, mister. We aren't... Ain't seen your face around here before, bud. Wow, so rude. That's okay, I'm gonna come back to you. But first, let's head over to places, except I'm going to quickly check my stuff again. 13 golden feathers, 12 things, 38. Um, actually, I'm, I might just quickly check something, since I'm doing fairly well with my special items. Let's head on... Where is it? Up this way. Right. I know what I'm doing. Just gonna go into the upper part of the auction house slash mansion thing. And look who it is. You there, Holt. Oh, you're just some wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if you were the postman, I would have shooed you out of, of here before you could say boo. But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we perhaps met some before someplace? So the beggar and the rich man have traded places after the Forsaken Fortress has been cleaned out. Cool. This is the guy who was begging for us to save his daughter. And now he's just 
looking out down on us. Oh, to think that I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful... opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm, but no. No, it's not a nightmare. Without him by my side, it's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. Just hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo, the wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. Oh Mo, why Mo? I'm always writing uh, heartfelt letters filled with my overflowing emotions. But why don't you answer me, Mo? Ah, this is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I've already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take the letter I just finished, inking, and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. The post box, don't you dare forget. But the, you must promise not to read it. The secrets of a girl's heart are to be shared only when she is she so desires. Okay. I'm just the postman now. Do you have anything else to say, sir? What whatever do you mean? You don't mean my daughter, do you? Because my daughter has already been rescued from the Forsaken Fortress. Why, she has returned with a huge load of lovely, glittering, delicious treasure. Thanks to her little incident, we've become filthy rich overnight, and I mean filthy. Why, there isn't a girl in the world who's as good a child as my Maggie. You may not have been able to help me, but there's no harm done. I'm sure you'll accomplish something in life, someday. In the meanwhile, my daughter has blossomed into quite the little beauty. Run along, go spend time, some time with her. Okay. I'll just go then. Okay. Let's go ahead and deliver this letter to the post box then, I guess. That was not what I was trying to do, but that's okay. I guess I should have just done that in the first place then. Hopping out that window. But anyway, let's just deliver this. You really never need the delivery bag that much, so... But anyway, let's hop, pop that in there. Ka-chunk! Poor! This post box is near the mail center on Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees! Do you wish to send this now? Yes, I do. Parcel has hereby been accepted for delivery. Thank you for using the island postal service. We appreciate your business. Cool, so that's done now. Now we just need to wait for that to get... Sent, I guess. Uh, but now I guess we should head up uh, north to the next temple, so let's get to work on that. Also, I probably should check the treasure charts, shouldn't I? Since we got a few from the last dungeon, so. Nope, not that one. So, treasure chart 12 is a reef. Treasure chart 20 is Bomb Island. Interesting. I think that's all the trade charts that we haven't opened yet, so let's just move on to the temple up here. We could also go visit uh, Beetle's special shop because we have enough rupees for that now. Which is crazy to think about because we have 2,000 rupees. And yet I feel like I'm going to need a lot more. A lot more, probably. So, anyway. We're making good progress. I also need to get out my bait so I can get the next fish for this island over here. I can hold another 3,000 rupees as well, so I could go out of my way for some more rupees if I really needed it. Okay, let's do that. Hoi, small fry! Gale Isle. I 
Are you thinking you want to get into that cave, small fry? The one that's protected by the crazy winds on that island? Hey, okay then. Let me just tell you a little secret. If you go five squares south and one square east from here, you'll reach Ice Ring Isle, where you'll have an item that'll make you as heavy as stone. If you get that item, you won't have to worry about getting blown over by winds. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Cool. Well, I'm pretty sure we already know what we're supposed to do then. Also, when he said crazy winds, he wasn't kidding. Look at that. Those trees are going absolutely insane. Anyway, let's just... I changed my map to make things easy for myself. But also we need to get out the iron boots. And I'm going to set that to that button. And also the skull hammer, so... Can't run into the wind, so we just have to walk very slowly with iron boots. Over this way. And then hit this with a hammer. But there we go. Can now access the wind temple. But anyway... That is it for now, so thank you all for watching. Oh, these trees aren't going crazy anymore. Thank goodness. Now, see you all next time.